what we knew is gone. Our home, our lives, all that we were, dust, blasted across empty, heartless skies. But we live. Our legacy lives within every ship we fly, upon every world we touch, in our hearts, in yours. There will be challenge. You will know fear, but you will overcome. You will survive and answer vengeance with blood. You will do as you must. Rule cannot be handed to the faithless. Our legacy cannot be lost to villains. Bury the past to face the future. In enemies, find allies. There is no price we have not paid, no loss we have not felt. Our dead world, our long suffering, these are not ends. We are not ended. For your crew, for your people, for this new home, we must face all doubt. We must break the strong who would destroy us and overcome the impossible. We must fight against any and all. We must, we will, for we are Romulan! This is the point we have pinpointed in your timeline, sir. This is when you go back and give yourself this. You will know what to say. You've already heard yourself say it. Even if it is not exactly right, the time stream will work it out. Just make sure that you give yourself this. It is our best hope for the future of the galaxy. You will return to this exact point in time as soon as you have done what you need to do. The galaxy still needs you, Admiral. Ready? The youngest of our kind rely on stories to know what our people were like before. Strong, secretive, warlike. We were feared. We were powerful. Then, everything changed. 22 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova. The resulting explosion traveled through subspace to hit Romulus and Remus, our homeworlds. No one could have predicted that would happen, and no one could have stopped it. Millions died. Those who survived were scattered across dozens of worlds. One day we were citizens of one of the greatest powers of the galaxy, and the next, we were just trying to survive. Every day was a struggle if you weren't part of the militant and oppressive Tal Shiar, or ruling everything from on high like Empress Sela. For ordinary Romulans, military victories don't mean much when you're hungry. Life goes on. The Klingons and Starfleet are at one another's throats, but battles light years away don't affect us much. The Tall Shi'ar are the more immediate threat. They're rebuilding the Empire by force, and pressing anyone they think can help into service. But even they don't seem to know we're here. We've put down roots and found friends. Today, we'll celebrate what we've created. With hard work and some good fortune, true Romulans will once again rise to be a power in the galaxy. The first step on that path begins here. There you are. The security chief is looking for you here. earlier. She said there's trouble at the vineyard. Avrak's been filing reports all night about Kellid's chewing at the vines. He's really worked up. Something must have annoyed them. It's not typical Kellid behavior. With the big celebration tonight, I think everyone's a little overexcited. Even the bugs. You should listen to one of Avrak's messages before you head out there.
tell me you'll help me? The Kellogg's are in the vineyard chewing through the irrigation pipes. And everyone says they're too busy getting ready for the big party to come and do something about it. There won't be any party if everyone's knee-deep in water by nightfall. Get over here and help me fix this. When are you coming over here? This is getting ridiculous. Nobody appreciates me around here. No one. They think these crops just grow without any help from anyone. Tending these vines is a lot of work. No one's... If the Kellids are chewing up the vineyard, you should probably grab a pistol, just in case. I'd join you, but the Chief has me looking into some odd comm chatter we picked up yesterday. We'll have to catch up later. Finally, I mean, uh, which message? Ah, oh, never mind that either. It's chaos here. I need some help. Normally, we collect nectar from the local Kellett insects, but something has driven them into a frenzy. They're chewing on our irrigation system and, and flooding the vineyard. Excellent, excellent. Uh, the broken pipes are obvious. No, they're, they're the ones spraying water everywhere. Kellett shouldn't give you too much trouble. Uh, a few bursts from your pistol will take care of them. Flooding has stopped, but if those Kellids come back, they'll just break the pipes again. Something's making the insects go crazy. With bugs this size, that's a real problem. You know, Valo might be able to help, but she's uh, goofing off again. She knows all about Kellids. She's normally down by the greenhouse this time of day. Tell her to stop being lazy and keep these critters contained. Good idea. Talk to Navala. 
I bet she's just lounging around right now, not even thinking about all the damage being done to my vineyard. No one around here wants to put in a good day's work. Uh, well, except for you. Just in time. Did you talk with Avrak? He said that I'm what? Lazy? That I've been... Ugh! He's just trying to make me look bad so he can get a promotion. Oh, that's so old-fashioned. Let me tell you what's actually happening. The Kellids are going crazy. I've been working all day to keep them out of the residential areas. This aggressive behavior is new, and we need to figure out what's causing it. That means gathering samples from some of these creatures. This metal has some kind of fungus growing on it that's similar to the spores we found on some of the Kellid carapaces. It might explain their behavior, but how are they getting infected in the first place? Also, the flying Kellids have never come out of the cavern before. This is so strange. You're right. The source of the infection could be somewhere inside the cavern. Head over there and see if you can find out what's aggravating the nest. And be careful! A strange machine and some weird drone things? Hmm, that is troubling. Someone's been in there. We'll have to let the Maori know about this. It's good you disabled the device, though. Maybe now the Kellids will calm down. I took a look at those biological samples while you were gone, but I can't do much more than a basic tricorder scan. It's just not my area. Devex might be able to help. He was an engineer in the Romulan military before the homeworld was destroyed. Now he's helping us with our water supply and anything else that takes more specialized knowledge. You should talk to him.
What do you need with an old space hound like me? Hmm. I have an idea of what this might be. Maybe. I saw something like this once before, when I was out beyond the Eridon belt. We responded to a distress call from a mining outpost. When we got there, all the people were just gone, vanished without a trace. The only things we found were a strange beacon and some odd spore samples. These look very similar. Sure, use whatever you want. I remember what we found back on the outpost. Bring the samples to me when you're done, and I can help you determine the results. I've only seen fungal biotech like this once before. Remember that mining station that I mentioned? Before we arrived, they reported several disappearances. Some thought it was paranoia, but we had reports that said intruders would beam in right through the colony's magnetic shield, right into someone's quarters, sedate them, and then vanish without a trace. We didn't know what to believe, but I don't think those miners were paranoid. Something did happen to them. And it could happen again. That's what my commander believed. We found a beacon with almost the same configuration as the one you found. We weren't able to get much from it before we shut it down. But the one thing we learned is that the beacon was made by a race that called themselves the Alachi. We stayed in orbit for a few days, but the Alachi never came back. That's good news for us seeing that you disabled the beacon you found in the caverns. That's right. He's the man in charge, so he needs to know. I'd be surprised if he doesn't want to send someone down there to analyze that beacon. Could be these Ilachi were interested in our colony for some reason. Lucky for us, you were there to put a stop to whatever they were trying to do. Jolan True. I heard Avrak yelling all the way over here. I'm sorry you had to deal with his problems on our day of celebration. Hmm, that does sound very mysterious. However, you seem to have taken care of the immediate problem, disabling this beacon and dispatching the drones. You have my thanks. I'll assign some engineers to examine the device and set up surveillance on the cave as soon as possible. If what Devex says is true, we don't want that beacon turned on again. Now that's settled, why don't you try to relax for a while? Enjoy the festival. We'll talk again tomorrow after the engineers have finished their analysis of the device. Hey there, ready for the big festival? Working hard? Or maybe you have time to listen to a story or two? Hmm? Are you done for the day? I'm just finishing up too. I'm going to head back to the restaurant. Meet me for a drink when you're done. Hey there. Long day? I can't believe how far this colony has come. Just look at how much we can accomplish without being ruled by the Tal Shi'ar. Word is, someone named Atan is trying to fight them, but... Me? I'm content with what we have here. Let's go enjoy the festival.
You are now a Delta recruit. You have a unique trait that gives bonus dilithium ore to you and your teammates. Friends and neighbors, welcome to the tapping. The Kellet Nectar has been harvested, the ale is brewed, and we can finally taste the fruits of our labors. And like this fine vintage, our colony has taken time and effort to develop. Since the loss of the homeworld 22 years ago, we have known fear, hunger, and pain. We have struggled. We have overcome every difficulty. We have mourned those who are no longer with us, and we have welcomed new friends into our home. And now we celebrate. The trials are behind us. Viranat is prosperous and growing. We will face new challenges in the future, but we will face them together. get the shuttles ready. You should find Navala and Borean to help organize the militia. Get as many civilians to safety as you can. After that, we stop whoever or whatever is attacking our home.
and I got as many people aboard as will fit. We have to go. Congratulations, citizen. showed me how to fly his warbird. We're almost there. Navigation is online, but we need some components to get our weapons and warp drive operational. We'll need both if we want to have any hope of fighting the Tal Shiar. This'll do nicely. We just need a little more salvage. Weapons are online. Let's test them out on some of these derelict ships nearby. They're not shielded, so we can just use our torpedoes to finish them off. systems are go and full imp Great. All systems are go and full impulse is back online. I'm picking up a Systems are go and full impulse. The distress signal is close. Searching. There! We have to help them!
Turn off full impulse. There's a tall Shiar drone dead ahead. Scanners are picking up more colonists and tall Shi'ar nearby. We have to rescue our friends. Safe to say we're a fully operational ship. I'm getting an alert. There's another distress signal coming in from one of the colony's shuttles. We can do a short range warp jump to get to them. Do you want to go now or stay here? There aren't any colonists here, just this strange ship. I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's gigantic. Engineering reports that the ship has scanned us, but they're not responding to my hails. What should we do? Done something to the ship. Nothing is responding. I can't even warp us out of here. I think I might be able to get a comm channel up to hail them. What do you want me to do? We're getting a reply. What the? Is... I'm picking up another ship. This one is Tall Shiar. So the Alachi were right. A handful of pitiful Romulan refugees managed to escape. When will you colonists learn that no matter how far you run, you cannot escape your obligations? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Colonel Hakiv of the Tall Shiar. On behalf of the Romulan Star Empire, I hereby lay claim to this colony and all of its inhabitants. Surrender now, and I will ensure that you serve us in the way you are most suited. Fire weapons at will! This is the mayor of the Romulan Republic. Toshio, stand now!
insect has managed to sting me. I am Tamer, commander of the Romulan Republic. We picked up your distress signal while on a mission in a nearby system. I would say we arrived just in time given your ship's condition. Who are you? And what happened here? I am truly sorry. This is not the first time I've heard a story like this, and I fear it will not be the last. And these Ilachi creatures, they are troubling. We need to know more about them and why they're working with a snake like Hakib. As I said, I'm with the Romulan Republic. You may have heard of us. We are not the terrorists the Tal Shiar make us out to be. With our leader, Datan, we are working to gather survivors of the destruction and fight the tyranny of the Tal Shiar. We have a flotilla nearby. If you're interested, we would welcome you and your friends to join us there. I understand your hesitation, but you must realize that there's no running from what's happening. You saw what the Tal Shiar did to your home. They're doing the same thing all across the sector. You either serve them or you die. The only way we're going to survive is if we fight back. I appreciate your willingness to do what's right. I'm transmitting the coordinates of our flotilla to your ship now. When you arrive, we can repair your vessel and work out our next move. Thank you again. I'll make sure you won't regret your decision. I don't know how I feel about this, but I guess signing with Tamer is better than risking death on our own. And he did help us out with the Tal Shiar. The coordinates are loaded up whenever you're ready to go. I think the colonists we rescued are eager to get someplace safe. Subcommander Nadell, assistant to Commander Tamer. Please follow me to the commander's quarters. There is much to discuss. Commander, our guests have arrived. Excellent. I'll get them up to speed. There is much to do. I'll be glad to show one of you around while the other stays and talks with Tamer. I'll take the tour and then meet you back on the ship when you're ready. Greetings. I hope all is going well with you. Good to see you and Tovankev made it to the flotilla of the new Romulan Republic. To be brief, we are a group that was founded by Datan to combat the tyranny of Empress Sila and her Tal Shiar. Our goal is to unify the shattered Romulan people under a new democracy instead of Sila's tyrannical rule. There is much to do, however. I can answer any questions you may have. Ha! <laughs> what hasn't Detan done? He has quite the long history. The short version is that he desires to see the reunification of the Vulcans and the Romulans. Before that can happen, though, Detan wants us to find a new homeworld, reconcile with the Remans, and end the centuries of oppression beneath the Tal Shiar. We're Romulan, and after all that's happened, we still have our pride and our cultural heritage. We need to be able to approach the Vulcans as equals, not as refugees looking for charity. Did you want to know anything else? That's right. He dreams of a day when our two people are united. Well, three, counting the Remans. Datan was inspired by Ambassador Spock, who first began the movement. When he was a child, Spock was working on Romulus with the reunificationists, and he was Datan's teacher. The Tal Shiar actively opposed reunification, and Spock and his people had to keep their movement hidden working with allies and meeting in secret. It's been an uphill battle for Datan, but he won't stop until he sees the Vulcans, the Romulans, and the Remans reunited and at peace. Is there any... What's next is that you receive our uniform and get a tour of the flotilla. After that, you'll receive your first assignment. 
However, you must understand that by joining us, you mark yourself as an enemy to the tall Shi'ar. Hakiv and his people will see you as a threat, and there isn't anything they won't do to stop you. Are you ready to accept that? Good. You should get yourself down to Lieutenant Delatham. You can get a uniform from him if you want to change out of those civilian clothes. You can also have your ship modified. We can't get you into a more powerful vessel yet, but we can change the appearance of your ship if you want. When you're done, return to your ship. I should have your first assignment ready and sent to your ship by then. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Hello again. Now that you're settling in, I wanted to speak with you about what our overall goals will be. First and foremost, we are looking for a new planet to call home. Tamer and his crew are handling that search. While the search continues, I am working on any possible alliances that we can make with the Federation and the Klingon Empire. We will need allies if we are to proceed. Your task will be the protection and recovery of other Romulans spread throughout this sector. We are finding more by the day. Some have already joined us, but others do not believe in our cause. It will be up to you and your crew to protect these colonies from the Tal Shi'ar and to recruit anyone willing to assist us. Do you have any questions? Sounds like we've got our orders. If you're ready, I can beam you back to the ship. However, before that, I need to ask a favor. I have a sister. Her name is Rena Kev. She and I were separated a long time ago. I want to try to find her. As we're doing our missions, could you try to ask about Rena? Thanks.
Sounds like we've got our orders. If you're ready, I can beam you back to the ship.